I want to talk to you for just a few minutes about an amazing invitation. Listen to this. In Matthew 12, 56, uh, 46 through 50, Jesus said this. While Jesus was still talking to the crowd, his mother and brothers stood outside wanting to speak to him. Someone told him, hey, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they want to speak to you. He replied to them, who is my mother and who are my brothers? Pointing to his disciples. Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. That is an amazing statement that he made. As a result of making this statement, we, we continue to read people in an unprecedented way, in unprecedentedly large groups, began to follow him. Uh, so let me make some points here. Number one, true Christian unity is derived from the common unity of a life lived in accordance with God's will. He said, if you do the will of my Father, you are then with me in the family. So let me say that one more time. True Christian unity is derived from the common unity of a life lived in accordance with God's will. So he gave us an invitation into three things at that point. One, an invitation into intimacy. He was saying, listen, you can be as close to me as my flesh and blood family is. So I want to invite you to be a part of an intimate relationship. The second point, the second invitation he gave was an invitation into engagement. He said, listen, those who do or engage in the will of my Father will experience intimacy. And then the most amazing is number three, he offered an invitation to his very own family. He said, those who engage in the will of my Father, those who follow me in doing the will, you are my true family. Even beyond ancestry or history or lineage, all of that, what makes you a true member of the family of God is living a life that is in accordance to and pleasing to the Father. Listen, real problems require real solutions, so I want to encourage you to dig deep in God's Word today.